How's it going? Cool. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm from Florida. Uh, my hair is from Ohio. <laughs> it's good to be here. I, I moved to New York City a couple, uh, couple of years ago. People said the hardest thing about the city is going to be the winter. It's definitely the eye contact. Because if you look at the wrong person here, like, you can feel it, you know? I looked at this crazy guy today, I was like, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, good, here he comes. Okay. I tried to, like, take it back with my eyes. I was like, never mind. <laughs> it's too late, too late. This guy walks up to me, he goes, what's up, big boy? Smoke? Coke? And I stopped walking, because uh, I was flattered. <laughs> I was like, big boy, <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> it's a problem because I didn't want to buy drugs, but uh, I also have trouble saying no. I was like, maybe I will smoke some Coke. <laughs> I couldn't do it, I didn't have cash, and uh, he didn't seem like a Venmo <laughs> kind of guy. I didn't know how to like leave the interaction, so I just matched his energy. I go, busy time, and I just took off. <laughs> Now I never make eye contact, I never. Recently a woman tried to stop me, she had a clipboard on the sidewalk. She goes, hey, I only talk to people with nice eyebrows. I go, me too, and I kept walking. <laughs> I don't typically act like that, but I was like, that kind of felt good, you know? <laughs> never make eye contact, even on a date. I just looked down the whole time. I did go on the worst date ever recently, I'm single. And have you ever been on a date and you can tell it's not gonna work? Just by the first word. Just the first word. This girl walked up to the table, she goes, greetings. I was like, this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> Who talks like, what are you, a welcome mat? Who talks like that? I should have known it wasn't gonna work because we, uh, we matched on Bumble. Um, I don't like dating apps because you can't learn anything about the person. They just want to seem like a good person. You know, like, you know, like, list your interest. One of her interests just said empathy. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're interested in empathy? <laughs> her other interests were cooking and hiking. I was like, I guess she just ran out of stuff to say. I don't... Well, it's never a good sign when they start listing emotions, you know? It's like, what do you do for fun? Joy? <laughs> I enjoyed joy, that's what I... <laughs> it was a problem because I wanted to like pick a first date that like matched her interests, you know? But what do you do for empathy? Uh, so we went to a funeral. <laughs> she started crying, I was like, oh, she loves it. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I'm happy I'm dating because I uh, went through a really big breakup about three years ago. Uh, <laughs> I only mention it because we were married. <laughs> Don't worry, I say big breakup because it doesn't sound as heavy, you know? I even called the attorney, I was like, yeah, I'd like to file a big breakup, <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm 26 and so my friends try to make me feel better, but it didn't work, you know? They just spoke in cliches. One of my friends was like, dude, you dodged a bullet. I was like, no, it hit me. <laughs> I just lived to tell the tale. <laughs> I was married for uh, three months. Uh, <laughs> it was a personal best. <laughs> we were so close to forever, you know? <laughs> really. I should have lied. I don't know why I told the truth. <laughs> I should have been like, yeah, we were married for decades. <laughs> we met in a sandbox and it all. Remember that was a thing? I remember growing up in like kindergarten, this girl would like call me her husband. Remember, I feel like you're one of two things back then. You thought love was icky or you had like seven wives. <laughs> you know? This girl in my kindergarten class, she would just like go around marrying all the boys like against their will. You know? She was like, Timmy's my husband. And Timmy's behind her like. I know I'm four, but this feels like a red flag. <laughs> I remember if you saw a boy and girl sitting together, remember you sang that song? You're like, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a baby carriage. How weird is that? We used to tease each other with the perfect life. <laughs> These guys
got a family that loves them. And a good retirement, too. Ooh. It's not realistic. We should change that song, you know? It should be like, first comes love, then comes doubt. <laughs> then comes baby. We'll figure it out. Thanks, guys. I've been Ted Barton. Enjoy the rest of the show.